today we're having a look at the Zoom A3 Acoustic Remodeling DI. Let's have a listen. I've just recorded a loop off my Martin HD28E Retro. This pickup is a Fishman pickup, a piezo style pickup, which has microphone modeling. The microphone modeling has been switched off, so what you're hearing there is the pickup straight out recorded into a Roland loop station. And we've got it looped there just for the purposes of the overview, just so I can fiddle with this pedal here while I talk you through it. The A3 Zoom is an acoustic remodeling DI. It's digital approximations of acoustic guitar bodies or famous uh, acoustic guitars people know and love. So you've got 28 acoustic guitar models. You've got a three band EQ up here. You've got 40 inbuilt effects. And of course, it's a high quality preamp for sculpting the sound that you want to get out of your acoustic guitar. On the back here you have, uh, on this side sorry, you have a DI out. Now for the purposes of, the, of this overview we have um, just left and right coming out of here and going straight into an interface into the computer as we run through it. Let's have a listen to the sound of just the sound of the pickup without the Zoom A3 on. This button here is a balance between the dry and the wet signal. So let's take it straight to just the pickup signal and this is what it sounds like. This pedal is, is it's got a lot in it, so you know we've only set up a couple of different sounds in here. Let's turn the balance back up to halfway, and you'll hear it halfway between the pickup that's coming into the A3 and what the A3 does. So here we go. got quite a wet signal going in there. In other words, there's a lot of effect on there, but uh, I've just put a lot of effect on just so you can hear exactly what it's doing. Okay, now this little toggle switch here, you can set up, you've got 20 presets that you can set up inside this thing. What we've got here, I've just set up an A and a B, so you can hear some differences between a couple of pickups. So let's toggle between it's on B at the moment, which as you can see is Del V, I've written on there, which is delay and, and a verb. So let's toggle back to A. So now what I'll do with that setting there, I'll go to the effects which are here. These buttons are actual buttons that you push with your fingers. Now you can go in here and change things. Number one is always the model of an instrument. So let's change this now. If I push the button, changes it to a D18. Change it back, D28. It's always an approximation of what an instrument is doing. You can't digitally change or, or replicate what timber and strings do, but it's, a, it's definitely, I think, an improvement. A pickup is already an approximation of an acoustic guitar, so it's definitely an improvement on what's there. So let's uh, just toggle through these. D18. D45 and on it goes. So let's just go back to our first setting, which is a D28. Now, as you can see here, it's got one, a little two, and a three. 
let's go to oops, let's do this again here's your three setups one is always going to be your modeling two let's go in here let's select number two as you can see it's a HD reverb now it's it's great for guitarists because it's kind of intuitive the way we use guitar pedals you just these knobs here serve as you can push them to get through menus or you can turn the knobs for increasing or decreasing the, the parameters of a pedal. Here's a longer decay. Let's turn this back down again. And the tone obviously to it's either going to affect the really peaky bright notes or it's going to be darker. And if you turn the mix right up, So to get back to our window where we were before, let's just turn that back down a little bit. Push this, and here you go. Here's your pedal board set up as it was. Let's go into number three. Select it by pushing. Three, two, one, number three. Here we go. Modulation delay. So here we go. Changing the time or, uh, of the delay. go back here if we go back in here's our memory and here's our original settings between A and B up here you've got bass middle and treble so bass let's turn it down bass up mid range And treble. Now you might have uh, been wondering what this is doing up here. Basically this button here is designed to whatever kind of instrument you're using, it's got a preference for the EQ curve of the instrument you're using uh, when it comes in. So <coughs> I've playing a HD28, it's a dreadnought shape, so you've got dreadnought up here, which we've used. Now, other features of this thing are that you have a tuner here. Let's push this on. Right, no signal, of course, because we've got the tuner on. So there's the tuner. Let's switch it back on. Very easy to use. Now, the other things you have, level of your pickup. So if you're using a passive pickup, you're gonna be running it higher active pickups are hotter so you're going to be running it lower. You've got a mic input, a mic pre is here so you can blend a microphone in, master and also you have boost which you can increase or decrease. 12 dB of boost and the tone you can change here so it can either be affecting your brighter tones or your darker tones of your acoustic guitar. So. 7 dB of boost, let's switch that back off. Now this is a great function here for acoustic guitar players who are playing live. This is the anti-feedback. Now, I'm not actually playing at a venue right now. It's not reading what's going on. So let's just push it three times. Now, as you'll see here, it's got one, two, three different, uh, oops, let's switch this back off. Let's go back here. Three different points of notching or filtering out problematic frequencies. Now, to use this is very simple. Turn the dial, shallow, normal, or deep. So, in other words, you are really, really scooping up frequencies that can be problematic, and um, you've got three of them. So, it's always handy, of course, when you sometimes when you're battling at a gig and you can't find the frequency that you are trying to pull out. Sometimes if you scoop your sound out too much, 
then you lose a lot of your tone. So it's very handy there, and of course you can switch it off. So there it is, clear. That's a really, really handy feature. On the side here, your input, you have flat response, magnetic pickup or piezo pickup. Over here, you've got left and right out. You've also got USB in for updating firmware. And also, you have on the back uh, a ground lift with a DI and a mic pre for actually putting a microphone in there as well. It's a very well thought out pedal. Because there's 40 effects in there, as you can hear, that sound I've got going there is kind of a, a tremolo-y kind of delay kind of modulation. I, I've made some fairly processed sounds. so many parameters and so many different effects that you can uh, manipulate. I'm just going to click through here, show you some of the effects. Modulation reverb, slapback reverb, HD hall reverb, plate reverb, here's uh, microphone approximations, condenser mic, condenser uh, through, compression, Rack compression. It's another compressor. Uh, compression. A slow attack. This one here is another compressor. Graphic EQ. Uh, para EQ. Exciter. Auto wah. <laughs> uh, tremolo. Phaser. Chorus. Detune. Silky chorus. Mirage chorus. Stereo chorus. Flanger. Pitch shifter, delay, modulation delay, uh, reverse delay. That's actually really cool. And uh, multi tap delay, uh, stereo delay, stomp delay, and we're back to our HD reverb again. On and on it goes. It's up to your imagination, really, what you do with this pedal. And it's incredibly good value for money. And as you can hear, Again, unaffected signal. Let's bring that back in. It's really good. Hope you enjoyed this little demo of what we've got here. Please subscribe to our channel. Happy strumming. Cheers.